Hey everyone, Travis here. Welcome to Travis Trading Daily. Many of my friends are getting a new Tesla. This time it's a Tesla car instead of Tesla stocks. And some of them are asking me about whether they should pay for the FSD package for $10,000 upfront or should they subscribe the uh, recently released $199 FSD subscription. So I think it'll be a good idea to share the stories I know about the FSD packages and why I, I don't think it's a really a good idea to either buy the FSD package or pay for the 199 subscriptions at this point. A little bit background about me, myself and my cars. I own two Teslas. One is an early 2019 Tesla Model 3 standard range with uh, enhanced autopilot. Another is a uh, late 2019 Model X long range uh, without the FSD package with the, uh, the basic autopilot. I know for many Tesla hardcore fans, 2019 is a pretty late time to join the Tesla club. But for those who are still like seeking for information about the decision to either have the FSD package or not, uh, this is your video. A little bit history about the FSD package. So at the beginning, this package has two parts. One is what they call the enhanced autopilot, sold for $3,000. And the other is the FSD package, uh, was selling for $4,000. And many of the early customers, they don't wanna pay additional $3,000 for the enhanced autopilot package. That leaves them with, without any autopilot features. And to be frank, Autopilot is one of the most important features and one of the most beautiful things about Tesla cars. And Tesla did realize this and they want people to use this software. They're like putting so much effort and so much blood and souls in. So they came up with a better idea to cancel the 3000 enhanced autopilot package and to consolidate the two packages into one FSD package for $7,000. And they decided to put the basic autopilot, which essentially is the lane keeping feature into every Tesla car they newly sell. To compensate the revenue loss of the enhanced autopilot package, they like priced in, I remember about 2,000 US dollars uh, into the car. But because the basic autopilot is the most important uh, autopilot feature in my opinion, and I personally like this idea because it gives people an opportunity to truly enjoy the, one of the best parts of uh, Tesla cars. At one point, Elon Musk tweeted that he, he thinks because they're adding more and more cool features into the FSD package, they'll gradually increase the price of the package. And they increase, increase the, the package price from 7,000 to 8,000 US dollars at one point. And recently, recent a few months, they, they've uh, the, the price has been increased to $10,000. Even though the enhanced autopilot package was canceled, they sometimes still sell this feature. I remember it was last year, uh, Q3, close to the quarter end, because of the, they, they're trying to like push the quarter revenue, they restarted to sell the enhanced autopilot package for a short period of time. But now this option is canceled again. Next, I wanna share why I don't recommend to pay for the FSD package upfront or subscribe the, the $199 package at this point. If you look at what the package is offering right now, the navigate on autopilot. Okay, I think this is the second most important feature besides the lane keeping feature. Navigate on autopilot gives you the ability to drive on freeways. But the problem is it is not as reliable as the lane keeping feature. And because you have to intervene the vehicle, like to slightly turn the steering wheel every 20 seconds, it doesn't really help that a lot to help the drivers to relax on freeway driving. The second one, the auto lane change. This is a good feature, especially for Tesla cars because they don't have the blind spot detection on their rear mirrors, which I really hope they have. But the auto lane change feature itself alone cannot justify the $10,000 package or the $199 subscription uh, expense. The auto park, similar to the Navigate on Autopilot, it is not super reliable. It does not detect the, the parking spots in many of the cases. I think for most of the drivers, you don't wanna try your luck when you go to a parking lot on a daily basis. And for the summon feature, 
I feel it's more like a party trick. Yeah, it's uh, it's very cool when it works. It can drive itself out of a parking lot in some extreme conditions, but it's not super reliable. And for many underground garages or uh, many of the, the parking lots which doesn't have a strong signal, it essentially doesn't work. The full self-driving computer, even you don't buy the FSD package, I believe each car has already equipped it with the FSD computer and traffic light and stop sign control. I think this feature best pairs with the auto steer on city streets, uh, which it, it is claiming to coming later this year. The auto steer on city streets, which I think is the most important and the shiniest FSD feature, which they, uh, Tesla is currently testing on a small group of people, is the, is the thing that truly has its value. If you are following the FSD progress, you can see some YouTubers are sharing their experiences with the FSD beta uh, V9 recently. And this is the, like the true FSD Tesla is promising to its customers for years. And I think only when this feature distributing to more drivers is the time for us to like subscribe the, the package and even to think about to pay this package upfront. So at this point, I don't really recommend common drivers or my friends to pay for the package upfront or subscribe the package. I think only until when the true FSD capability is uh, distributing to more drivers is the time for people to consider about the package. Okay, that wraps up everything for today. If you're interested in EVs, uh, EV stocks, especially Chinese EV stocks, this is your channel, you're welcome to subscribe. I'll see you next time.